you do get 150 brake horsepower. Uh, lovely stream down there. Well hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Itch and Deride and today we are out on the Aprilia Truno 660. This is a brand new bike for this year, new model. Um, Going to take it out for a run, see what I think of it. Looks a great bike, really like the look of it so far. So we're just going to take it down the dual carriageway, do a little bit on there and then we'll go around the back roads and then we'll pull over, have a look around the bike and tell you a bit about it. So right, let's get going. This thing sounds great. Straight away as well, as soon as you sit on this, it just feels really nice. Lovely sitting position. Your legs are quite high up though. The legs are sort of in a very sporty position, but your top half is in a very comfortable position. Now it just feels right to be honest when you sit on it. Your legs sit sort of right in the tank underneath it. On a dual carriage right here, obviously getting a bit of a wind blast on you because uh, obviously it hasn't got a big like screen or anything, but you have got a bit of a fair in there, so obviously that's helping out a bit. So at least on your long journeys, if you're sitting on a dual carriage way, you're gonna have a little bit of wind protection, not a lot, but there is a bit there. This does feel really nice to ride actually. Straight away it just feels right, you know, the position, the engine. Yeah, it's great. I actually like it straight away. <laughs> that box you get hard, you think, mm, don't know, see how it go. But I must admit this, it just feels really nice. As soon as you get on it. This feels really comfortable. You're nearly in upright position, really. Not much over, only a little bit. The seat is quite soft, actually. It's nice and comfortable. Right, let's get off this short carriageway. And uh, we'll go around some back roads see how it handles around there. So this bike is based off the RS660. 
Uh, this has got, obviously got higher bars, so it's more comfortable. And other than that, there isn't too much more, um, apart from this has got 95 horsepower and the RS660 has got 99 horsepower. But the reason for that is, is this can be detuned for people that got an A2 license. So those people can ride it as well then. So that's why it's got slightly less power than the RS660. I'm going to change the steering angle on this as well, very slightly to the RS660. I brought the front wheel in a bit, so it's just got to uh, turn a little bit easier. This has got traction control, ABS, uh, engine brake control, uh, wheelie control. <laughs> uh, but none of this though is actually lean sensitive on this, uh, where the RS660 is, because it has a, an IMU on it. It doesn't have a quick shifter either, but Moto Technics in, uh, in uh, Suffolk, where I've just got this bike from, basically they're doing a really good deal at the moment. Uh, the bikes are 9,700 quid as it comes now, no IMU and no quick shifter or nothing, but they've got two left. So if you want a really good deal on one, they're doing a thousand pound off. So they're doing it for eight seven, and you get a free IMU with it, which is what Prelli is doing at the moment anyway as a deal. But Moto Technics are doing a free quick shifter with the bike as well. So basically, you'll get an extra thousand pound off and a free quick shifter and a down flip, but that is uh, and an IMU. So this will come with everything basically for eight thousand seven hundred quid. They'll have the lot. So that definitely sounds like a bloody good deal to me. <laughs> Very good deal. Yeah, so if you're interested in one of these at that price, there's only two left there at Moto Technics. So give them a call. All their details will be in this description. And I will put the uh, details up anywhere on the screen. So a little bit there, I'll give them a bow. And I'd like to say anyway as well, big thanks to Moto Technics for lending me the bike. We'll get up here, we're getting the 60s up here. See what she's like. Get out of this 30 mile an hour. This is surprising this. This goes really well. This goes so much better than I thought it would. It's a lovely little talky engine. A little parallel twin. So I'm used to my bigger bikes. My like 1300s and 1000ccs and that. Obviously with like, I don't know, 170 horsepower. So you thought this would be pretty slow, really. But that isn't. It's got a lovely engine in this. Very smooth, very torquey. Yeah, it's great. I really like an S, actually. It's got a nice dash on this. Got fuel gauge as well, which is handy. Got everything you need on there. This has got five rider modes. It's got three for road and two track. And you can adjust them all as well to however you like, the different settings. So like I say on the deal that Motor Technics are doing, basically you get everything you want on this. If you get that IMU on here, then that would all be lean sensitive for the ABS, traction control and have all the latest technology on it. And with the quick shifter as well and down flipper. Great little, little bike, I guess it is. Good deal. A 
they've got KYB suspension so far it feels like this has been set up really well so it's just taking the bumps lovely it's not uncomfortable where it's just like jump jumping you around all the while it's just real smooth we'll see when we get up in the 60s up here see how well it handling the corners and they sound lovely a growl you know sounds very similar to the v4 engine don't know how they've done that but considering it's only a parallel twin <laughs> That sounds really nice. Even standard, you know, that sounds great. No exhaust on it or nothing, just standard exhaust. Then you've got your gear indicator on there as well and the dash. So it's got everything you want on this. Right, let's see what it pulled like again. That's great engine in this, I'm very surprised. I don't know how they've done that, but... So this thing is quick, very surprised. Handled lovely. Oh, this is a really good bike. Really good bike. Yeah, it's right, lovely. Really good. I'm about 12 and a half stone. And for me, suspension's good. Handles well, but still takes the bumps. And that's certainly what you want. So I love the sound of this as well. Great. Uh, I did have a bit of a downpour a few hours ago, so the roads are a little bit damp still in places. But this fills you with confidence though. That's what you want if you're an A2 license holder, which are new to riding, you just want a bike that's easy to ride and give you plenty of confidence, and this does it. This is exciting to ride as well. Sounds fantastic. It comes standard with a slipper clutch. And the gearing on this has got shorter gearing compared to the RS660. So this will be a little bit more responsive than that. But the RS660, sorry, but the RS660, <laughs> that's got 99 horsepower. So this is, that's got like four horsepower more than this, but to be honest with you, notice it. Because with the gear and change on this, this will probably feel just as quick, or if not, a little bit quicker. Brakes are lovely. Superb brakes. Uh, if you're on, if you're pushing it quite hard, you can feel that it's probably a little bit soft on the rear end for me. Actually, when you're pushing it a bit, only slightly. You could just put a bit more preload probably on the rear spring. That's all that need for me. Other than that, handling's great. Feels very light, turns really easily. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's a great bike. I'm really impressed with this. 
really impressed. To be honest, I don't think I would be because because only got 95 brake horsepower. I thought I'd be very lacking, a bit boring, but <laughs> that isn't. That definitely feels like it's got a lot more power than 95 horsepower. To be honest. That's the talk of it, what's really good. Got a nice usable amount of torque. So we can get in front of these cars. Right, let's see what it's like through here then, at low speeds, the fueling. Yeah, it's really good. Fueling is really good on that. It's nice at constant throttle. It's not jerky. Around the back roads is great at higher revs, often on the throttle, it's not snatchy or nothing. Yeah, done a really good job of this bike. This fantastic bike. It just sound really nice as well. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, it's just got that character, you know. It's what you want in a bike, something with a bit of character, so it's enjoyable to ride. You know, the sound of it. Yeah, this has got it. Definitely. I would definitely recommend one of these. If you're thinking about getting like a middleweight sort of bike, you know. This sort of engine size, definitely take one of these out. I think you'll be very surprised how good this is, I am. Just really nice to ride, lovely to ride. Right, so I'm just going to pull over up here and we'll just take a look around the bike. So the all new Aprilia Turuno 660. I think this is a fantastic little bike. I love riding this. Rides really well. So comfortable. Plenty of power. A little parallel twin engine. It's lovely. Really smooth power delivery. Predictable. It's got plenty of torque air. Looks great. And that's really comfortable as well. I say those high bars, nice soft seat. Pegs are a little high, but that's still all right. You know, it's totally fine. So that's a bit of a sporty position with your legs. But other than that, your upper body and that's really comfortable. And you've got a little bit of wind protection there with the fairing. Uh, it's an all round excellent bike. And that is definitely something I would recommend. So the seat height on this is 820 mil. I'm about 5'9", something like that, um, and I can quite easily touch the floor, no problems. Uh, you've got a 15 litre fuel tank on here, and that's quite shaped quite nicely actually, so your, your legs sort of fit under the tank there, yeah, it's shaped really nice, makes it really comfortable. Uh, you've got KYB suspension on here, which is really good, that's been set up lovely. And you've got your Brembo brakes, and they're really sharp. They've got really good control, They've got a nice biting point on that. I rate the brakes, really good, and the suspension. You know, it's not your fancy Olins or nothing, but you know, you don't really need it on a bike like this. In the day, it's ride great with this suspension on. So I'd probably put a little bit more preload in the rear shock or something for me. But, um, you know, everyone's different, depends on how you ride and how heavy you are. Other than that, it rides fantastic, great bike. You get daytime LED running lights and headlights on this. Looks great. Right, I'll just show you the dash. It's a great looking dash. All nice in colour. Got everything on there. 
got a fuel gauge, gear indicator. Uh, it's got uh, five rider modes. It's got uh, three for road and two track. Um, the road ones, you've got dynamic, individual, and commute. And then if you hold the button down, you can then go into each setting and adjust each setting how you like it for your traction control and anti-wheelie and ABS and everything on there. Um, and if you go into the settings, into vehicle, into mode, uh, we'll press that, go to race, and then go back. Then you've got challenge and time attack. So, and then obviously you can then adjust them ones as well, however you like them, just the same. You know, your track control, ABS. So that's everything on there you need. Looks great. Right, so let's start it up, see what it sounds like. I think it sounds great. A nice induction roar there as well. That's a really good sound on bike that is, especially just for a parallel twin. Brilliant. Well to sum it up really, this is a fantastic bike. It's very nice to ride. It's got great fueling, handles really well, uh, it's really comfortable and uh, they're doing a really good deal on them at the moment as well. Uh, that's Moto Tech Mix that is in uh, Stowe Market, Suffolk. I will put all their details up on the screen and that'll be in the description. Uh, like I say, these retail are like £9,700 that is. Uh, but they're doing them for £8,700 uh, with a free IMU. So you'll get lean sensitive traction control and ABS. Um, and a free quick shifter and a down blipper as well so it's a really good deal but I've only got two bikes left at those prices so at that, well, at that price so yeah give them a call uh, so thanks to everyone uh, that subscribed so far on my channel that's fantastic um, I'm at nearly 500 subscribers now I know that's not a lot for a, a lot of people but, <laughs> but for me that's good as a milestone I'm about to hit uh, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button and then you'll see all the new videos that I upload. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, Itching to Ride is now on Facebook. So if you'd like to search on there for Itching to Ride on Facebook and uh, like the page, that'd be great. And I'll see you all on the next one.